So that constructor nearby becomes 100% about feeding the power grid, I think. Space elevator, that's right. That thing is huge. It feels really weird to me that this is a thing that you make this early in a game like this. We can make another hub further away as well. It's the other option. We can start to spread around a little bit more if we want to. Okay, so we need 15 plates, 15 rods, 25 wire. And we just ditched a bunch of that stuff. Oh, these stack up more than 100, but the ore doesn't. Then we needed iron plates. This is very much stare at the bench the game to an extent. And we need some rods as well. It's like an idle game, except you have to be active in it. <laughs> I don't know what genre that would be that I'm describing there, but it's honestly what it feels like. Alright, biomass burner. Where's the input? There we go. No outputs on this one. Can I just put it there so it automatically... No, because you, you, you need to be able to at least place down the conveyor belt yourself. Is this even straight? Oh yeah, it looks like it. Bonfire. There we go. So then you now become all about making biomass but first i need to be able to power you which means i need to feed some into there so what do we choose here we chose leaves there so we want to feed leaves into this and we could put wood into that and then we also need to connect up another power thing so we've got that going to there as a sort of redundancy factor so we like to have things in parallel, but that just means that like two power lines are always occupied by other things, or like the input and the output to daisy chain, and then I can only power two things otherwise off each one. This only has one currently, so that could actually power the smelter. So let's get rid of that, and then put this to there for the smelter. And then this is in a very unfortunate position now because we want it to go all the way down there. Dismantle this. It's not like it's doing anything at the moment anyway. And then move the power line over here. A little bit more. So it hasn't really moved it very far. So <laughs> whatever. There to there. There to there. There to there. And there to there. Alright. And then wood goes into either of these, leaves goes into that. Right. Let's go foraging. Hoover time. Things will grow back, right? Right. Okay, let's let's not try and climb up that again. Oh, there's just some like roots available here is just raw wood as well. That's handy. So, point being that we put wood into here, put that in here, fire you up. Cool. I think maybe we want to just put you on standby for now, because I don't need you yet. But when I run out of the other one, then I can fire you up instead. But otherwise, this is burning its way through here. Ah. I don't know. All I know is I'm getting a ton of iron ingots again, which is nice, because I need a lot of those. And I need a lot of wire. And I will want another constructor at some point. I want to work on this one first, then I get a map, and I get the Imayim, which is uh, another little fun interactable, I think. I could just go and... I'm just going to go make a coffee. A few minutes later. That's close enough. 
swapped wire now. I think I'm appreciating this gameplay loop now. <laughs> Not many games you can just get up and wander off and then just come back and it's it's done stuff. <laughs> so it's like a a mildly interactive viral game. So you kind of just want to go around and collect lots and lots of materials and then come back and just tunnel down on one thing at a time. And then each time you, before you set it going for the next bit, just go off and do some chores. I've got some washing to hang out, I'll go do that next. <laughs> Especially since I'll have some iron ingots from my other thing too. Probably getting close to having to turn on my um, biomass burner. And then it's the case if you need to be able to grow stuff at some point to be able to feed into that system. You're on... oh no, you've got 16 wood left. Oh, cool. Yeah, you're just still merrily churning away. That's nice. Let's grab all of that. 180 plate. Again, this is where it'd be nice if you could set. I want to make X number. But that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. I can actually hear when it stopped too. <laughs> cool. So let's put those in and now we just need all the screws. So let's grab some more of the iron ore from here. Just to keep you going. I should also, let's just do a collection round in general actually. We'll go to limestone next. We'll clear copper as well. Where's limestone over here? Grab you. There's all sorts of weird glowing things around. Do we have a flashlight? B. We do. Nice. Head torch. Excellent. Don't need it all the time, but good to know it's there. There we go. Right. And now we start this up. Now that it has a bunch of fuel in it. And then this will need wood again at some point. And yeah, this is no longer making stuff either as the other thing. So then the biomass will also run out in time. So unless things have a regrow rate, which I'm not sure about, we're going to have to solve that eventually. Alright, ingots. And rods. Ooh, that's probably more screws than I want to make. I mean, I'll probably need them though. <laughs> Let's be honest. We can split a stack and maybe put those in. No. Put those in there. Ah, shift click is just to transfer the stack rather than everything. Alright. One minute, 37 seconds later. Alright. Normal service can now resume again for a little while. We do make, need to make a lot of uh, wire as well, though. Ooh. Big red button. Can we get up there in time to watch it? Milestone reached. Supply the molecular analysis Let's... machine, referred to as the MAM, with local resources to research and develop new technologies. Potential technologies include exploration tools, weapons, and factory Away buildings. He goes. These are essential for maximizing your pioneer efficiency and alignment with fix its core it's pillars. Very... Construct, automate, explore, and exploit. Flight. To advance Fixit's mission, all notable phenomena, resources, technology, or other influence should be investigated regardless of any perceived danger, as stated in the Pioneer contract. Alright, so... 
I can make another personal storage box too. It's wild that that only has 24 for storing large, 25 for storing large amount of items. Yeah, it has the conveyor belt imports, but like the size of this, which is, you know, this. That size versus this size. That, that feels weird. <laughs> anyway, we're going to run out of power again at some point, probably. That's fine. Uh, we should choose the next milestone. So field research, we've done. Obstacle clear. Oh, we can get a chainsaw. <laughs> and uh, solid biofuel. Uh, assembler, two parts into another part. We're probably going to need that at some point, presumably. Yeah, things start getting... Ooh, jump pads. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> we could use that to get from the... Uh, uh, what should we call it? The limestone resource sink bonus program. Brilliant. Eh, customizer, fun. So that's just con cosmetics, basically. Convey a lift. Oh uh, yeah. Belt mark two so can transport more essentially. Um. Oh, so you can layer things. Ah, oh, of course. Yes, yeah, so you can do like tiers of things. Kind of don't care about most of that stuff, quite frankly. It says lift one to convey a lift. What was that? Oh, it's the sonic boom of this return, of course. Makes sense. Um, okay, we should probably do base building so we can start getting some like foundations and ramps and basic things like that just for fun. Have a nice lookout tower, why not? It's it's all still pretty much cosmetics, but I think that's probably fine. So that'll be the next thing to work on. Hey, we put aside a hundred rods, didn't we? Well, what do you know? <laughs> Perfect. And we're part way there on other things. So we're gonna need some of those to make a lot more whatchamacallits. Um, we haven't really needed our extra portable miner at the moment so I think we grab and then pick you up and then I'm gonna try and stick you down on the limestone see whether or not we can actually get two on the same thing so that I don't have to go further away there was more limestone around as well we can have two on the same thing Perfect. I think I was just being very finicky about putting it down in the middle, but I don't think I needed to. <laughs> I think that's 100% on how I was placing it. So that's handy. So we can double down on that because we need quite a lot of... Yeah, we really want one of those jump pads down here. Eh? <laughs> we do want to have a jump pad. We can double down on our limestone. We'll just collect a bunch of this stuff for now. We will get the chainsaw thing so we can clear these trees. We're making a small dent on the environment, but with the idea that we can hopefully not do too much on the wider area. Our space elevator is going to be an eyesore, though. There's no getting around that. Uh, while I'm at it, so we need to put leaves in here so you can keep making more stuff. Um, biomass, we're going to put you on standby, but then I'll put wood in there, so when we run out of the other thing, of the biomass, we can at least fire you up in order to get you going again when we need to. Yeah, this, this takes a while to run through it, which is nice. And that's purely just feeding our iron production at the moment, it's not doing anything else. It's self-sustaining and doing iron, and that's it. But that's kind of fine, because iron is a staple, it seems. We need a lot of it. So we could make... I mean, we could also take a break of producing the biomass, since we do have a little bit of a backlog, in order to have um, our constructor do some stuff like making concrete, or processing some of our ingots into plates and stuff like that, if we wanted to. 
because otherwise this is going to take a very long time. <laughs> Especially given the number of items we need. But we're almost there on this one. This base building milestone, we're almost there on. The space elevator, on the other hand, we need tons of stuff. Hmm. I need to go and um, put a pause on that. I mean, we'll put away those. There we go. So we're, we're almost there. And yeah, this is where you kind of can abuse the portable miner to an extent, I think. And just, yeah, put down lots of those on those deposits. Since, yeah, you can't hook up a conveyor belt, but that's fine. You don't need to. <laughs> Let's finish off this, and then we'll go and see how much has been gathered. When we do need 300, because it's like a, it's a 3 to 1 thing. But... Okay. We're almost halfway there on what we need. Uh, yeah, so what do we want our... We kind of want the smelter. Or we want a second smelter. That we can just manually feed copper into whenever we want to. We can also just set up another... We can just get ourselves doing another big thing while I go AFK and put the next load of washing on. So, so this has actually stopped producing biomass now anyway. So we want to just set you doing concrete and we just feed that in. It can only take up to 100 at a time, or like one stack at a time unfortunately. But that's all good. And then we're going to run out of power so we want to make the most of it while we can. Uh, before we have to just go and just do a bunch more leaves. We need lots of copper, right? Okay. I'll go put the next load of washing on. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh, almost perfect timing. Right, then how are we going with this at the moment? Oh, we actually have a backlog, it looks like. Is that based on its capacity or the fact that this was no longer producing? Uh, just not producing anything, I guess. So, or is this... This isn't... Oh, this is cement, isn't it? Can I pick it up? I can, good. Because I don't want that going in there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oops, I didn't think about that. Uh, you almost need to disconnect the conveyor belt if I change recipes here. Okay, you've still got a ton of biomass in there, don't you? Good. Um, yeah, let's just dismantle that, just so it doesn't get confused. And then let's uh, select a wire and feed in a bunch of that at a time. Rather than me just sitting there and doing that all myself. You are filling up. Nice. Um, let's go get some more limestone. And we're going to need to like make a ton of that as well. But we could take some time now to do a little bit of exploration. Which I think I like the idea of as well. So we've got wire being produced by the constructor at the moment. We could make another one because we do have room in our power grid. Let's make a few cables just so I've got some in my inventory because that's kind of handy. So then we can put another power cable down here, potentially. So then we can have another constructor off the end of this. So we could connect that to it if we want. But we can do the same sort of thing as with this one where we just like remove the conveyor belt when we don't want to. Alright. So. Uh, we want to first dismantle this. And then we want to connect this to this. Ah, uh, that's not going to work, is it? 
Okay, things are gonna go down. <laughs> That's fine. Pew! <laughs> And that's just by necessity. Um, and then from here we do here through to there. Not the safest arrangement going across where the walkway is, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> Alright. And then the idea is we will always want to be able to train another one along. We don't even need them that far apart. And in fact, we can even just then have a little square going on. Just do a little square dance. Put this there. And then we just have this one going. Deconstruct this again. And then just go bomp, 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 bomp. There we go. And this one might just be a distribution power line, to be honest simply to then have another one over here just you know future proofing do a little future proof and do that to there and then we've got one extra on here which can be for the constructor that we want to put down over here which we need one more wire for now because we put that redundancy in in advance we now need another wire okay that's fine that's on me is that that's not even close to lined up. This is wonky, which bothers me, but... I just want to stand here and watch me go. And then... Do that? Are we... Have we connect corrected things? No, we've gone even more wonky. Oh, god. Whatever. Embrace the wonk. It's fine. Lucky. I don't necessarily want that to happen though, actually. Because we're not necessarily doing anything with the iron plates, at, or with iron at the moment. But we might. So... I guess that's the point is, if it needs it, then it will um, be fine. Oh, no power. We didn't actually connect you up. Oops. So you can now work on concrete for the moment. Now we are going to need more biomass, that's the other thing. Uh, we have 20 to go at the moment. What's over here? So we are at the point now that we can do a little bit more exploration. It looks like gold. Are you gold? Caterium ore. Close enough, I guess. Unknown metal collected. Yeah. This metallic element is showing properties similar to those in group 11 on the periodic table, such as high conductivity and malleability. Gold. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. And I still also haven't seen evidence of the plants growing back, unless I just haven't gone away. Maybe I need to go away, and then come back, and then maybe the plants will regrow. But I haven't really gone away from my base much yet. I need to do more exploring. You, we will put more in there as well. Uh, don't know how much wire stacks do, to be perfectly honest. Uh, we can make biomass ourselves in the meantime as well. Oh, you've been playing for two hours. Fix would like to remind you, wisdom is not actively valued by fixes. Being unable to walk, blah 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 blah. Something amusing. Sure. <laughs> and we've got our standby here as well for the wood. Cool. We'll wait until this can accept all of these ingots as well. I don't know if I want a second smelter yet that could take the copper specifically um, rather than because this is just doing the iron coming in. 
But I think that's fine for now. We have a lot of iron, and we don't actually have a lot to do with it yet. Because uh, otherwise I can just work copper myself for now. And excess iron from like my secondary, like, like backup. I don't know. For now. We're almost there, we just need another 40 or so of those. Going there. Oh, that even divides neatly by three. I love it. Okay, good. Uh, let's put away some stuff from here. Like, I don't care about that. Don't care about those. I don't have a use of the quartz yet. So that's fine. But I think we have everything else that we need. I'm intentionally avoiding the gas cloud areas, funnily enough, for now, because uh, I think we know what that means. <laughs> I'm sure I get something in future that allows me to navigate those areas. Let's collect everything from these to get them underway. Right. I think we're at the point that we can explore a little bit more as well. What are you? You're more iron ore. Alright, so, sure. We'll kind of take off the cap. Because we'd need to do that before we can put anything down. So that's a normal one instead of an impure one. We're kind of getting everything that we need at the moment. There's three iron ore right here. Right? So this would be another good spot for a base. And that's why there is a hostile animal there normally kind of guard you away from it you are really weird i also haven't worked on my like mam thing here yet either how do i make that here we go <laughs> i've completely neglected the extra stuff that i unlocked because i should work on that before i go too far away so i need some more cable Okay, but I do want to climb up here first if I can. If we can find our way around. Is that like a convenient place that you can jump off and get on top of this guy? Does he do a, a predictable path? I suspect that might be the case. <laughs> You'd need to build like a lookout tower or something on top, but... There's some more copper? Yeah, this is just a random copper deposit. It's not even a node yeah there isn't a, a node or anything it's just a thing we should be picking up leaves as we go around a little bit as well we'll do a little bit of light deforestation I, I wish you could just mow the grass to turn that into biomass because we all know that grass keeps regrowing way faster than it should what are you You look disgusting. Blue power slug. Okay. I'll grab yoink gather a power slug. This semi slug hmm. species seems to persist entirely through absorbing and storing energy from its surroundings. Hmm. Studying this could provide new methods for improving fix it production line efficiency. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. Yeah, so we definitely need to build that MAM. Absorbing power or energy from its surroundings sounds like something we want, because then we're less reliant on biomass, maybe. Can we make just like a... I don't even know what sort of power reactor that would be. Uh, I'm not seeing a convenient way up. and We can't, like, wall jump exploit our way up. We need a jetpack. That was the other useful thing in Planet Crafter, is it felt like you got a jetpack really quickly. But I think that was because I found the blueprint. Not sure. No, you did just unlock that naturally, I think. I don't know, maybe I also didn't get it quickly. Like, I've only been playing this a couple of hours. I should be generous. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, iron, yep. More iron. That's fine. We'll leave that there. Don't bother breaking the capstones on everything just yet. Oh, another power slug. Ooh, another blue one. I'm surprised I don't need anything special for picking those up. Well, there's more limestone down there too. It's fine, we've got multiple mining things on one. We don't need too many. Uh, we need to just set myself up at my workbench and do a bunch more crafting at some point too, so then I can go get some lunch. <laughs> I had a big breakfast, but I'm already feeling hungry. I have been doing a lot today. Not just in this game. <laughs> Another power slug. Okay, so there's quite a few of these blue power slugs around. The fact that it's blue power slug suggests to me that there are other colours as well. I guess I should wait until night falls and then look around. A leap of faith. We need a, a haystack down the bottom there. Actually, we need one of those jump pads down the bottom there so we can just jump off here and then bounce over to our base. Oh, there's another power slug over there, looks like, too. Another blue one. Seeing what I can see. What do your elf eyes see, Legolas? I see a very cool-looking biome over there. I like the look of the rocky desert area. It is a very big world. I'll give it that. It'll be interesting to know the map size comparison between, like, this and other games I've played, like Subnautica or Planet Crafter. How much fall damage do we take? Yeah, a little bit. Just a bit. But we're not engaging in combat, so we don't care. Oh. That's my lunch alarm. Well, it's not mine, technically. It's my daughter's, but, well. She's in hospital again. So, for now, it's mine. Have things regrown a bit? Did I... Are these things that I've collected before? I'm not sure. Feels like I have, but I'm not positive. This plant hasn't regrown a berry yet, though, even though I've gone a little bit further away. Well, we need to work on the MAM anyway. Um, first things first, let's make some more biomass with those leaves. We can make that ourselves. Yeah, we really don't need a... We, we put this in with the idea of, oh, we can have it constantly going in. We don't really go through it fast enough to need to do that. <laughs> I think the other one is already doing concrete, but we can double down on that since they can only do a stack at a time. But that's all we need for the next step anyway. So now we can do our base building. I want to watch it again. Milestone reached. Several new structures are now available for improving factory organization. Foundations provide a building grid, which makes it easier to manage placement of any structure. In the event that um. you are experiencing amnesia for all events prior to planetfall, be reassured that memories of beloved humans and or animals would have only been distractions from your important mission. So foundations are what gives you a building grid. Weird that you don't start with that, honestly, <laughs> but, but maybe that doesn't mean for things like this, though, still. I'm not sure if that still means things like your equipment workshop, since this is a standalone thing. I'm still surprised this wasn't part of the base, like the hub. I feel that this should have expanded out to have the crafting on one side and the equipment on the other, because, yeah, uh, I guess this is where our thing goes yeah i don't know would it be nice if uh we could have crafting and equipment like nested better who knows because you really don't need the equipment workshop that often right <laughs> not yet anyway there's, there's not many things i can make i can make the object scanner though why does that need rein four reinforced iron plates to make an object scanner is isn't this a portable thing how am I meant to carry it if it's made of that many things? This is where it is just like resource sink, unfortunately. It feels a little bit bad. 
I'm not a desperate fan of the idea of let's make things expensive just cause. <laughs> That was one thing where Icarus fell down as well. It got a bit like that later in the game. So, object scanner. This thing better be huge. No. Where's the four reinforced iron plates gone? Hey, Razor. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's that time again. Aki 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 love Welcome back Chris Always a pleasure You caught me mid rant Let's just run this by you as well So this constructor here right production constructor yeah, the, the size of this takes two reinforced metal plates and eight cables, okay? Don't even know where the cables go, but it takes two reinforced metal plates to make this entire thing. Now, this thing that I'm holding in my hand, this object scanner, takes four reinforced metal plates and 20 wire which is the equivalent i think of 10 cables and 50 screws to make one object scanner where's it all gone <laughs> so this is just classic example of resource bloat for the sake of it unfortunately which does happen in these kinds of games unfortunately but it's just a little bit on the nose <laughs> Not a huge fan of that level of bloat for things. It's just clear each tier. Like, I don't actually care about this stuff at the moment. The building efficiency stat, maybe that's a good thing. I don't know what that means, but maybe that's good. So we'll, we'll do that anyway. Um, so we're almost done with all of our limestone. We're going to need more concrete in future but for now but let's just make some iron plates now how are you going yeah so you ran out the complete stack which is good but now I'm left with one random limestone that's fine uh, you can also probably make iron plates for now to be honest or maybe iron rods because I need a ton of those as well I'm not as bad to make myself this is the one we did actually put together, and oh, there's a bit of a backlog. <laughs> this is the sort of thing that at some point we can just stand at our workbench and make a lot of stuff ourselves, and go and make lunch, which I'll probably do possibly now, actually. I might go grab more copper and then come back and just queue that up. <laughs> yeah, about now, <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's the classic thing, and Icarus did the same thing to a lesser extent, I feel. But just the the bloat of, let's make this expensive just because it's at a higher tier, instead of, let's either make it made out of more advanced materials, or let's just recognize that it's not that big a deal. Um, I also want to make my... M oh, I can make a lookout tower now as well. We'll do that later. Um, there's our MAM. But I'll do that later as well. Uh, for now. Oh, we've run out of power, finally. Oh, hmm. Oh well. I kind of don't care. I just need to make a bunch more biomass at some point. I mean, this would have been convenient, but we can make this ourselves. We keep running out of power because um, we need biomass for power. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I don't need that much metal. Well, hopefully. Not yet, anyway. But until you find a way to, like, grow it, you've either got to go around and just collect a ton of plants and process biomass yourself, or eventually, like, chop down trees. I do have a backup, but that won't last very long. Um, yeah. Solar panel isn't a thing, it seems. At least not yet. Maybe we research that at some point, I'm not sure, but for now we don't get solar panel, we don't get wind, we have to immediately jump to biomass, which 
feels backwards and I'm not a fan of, but yeah, biomass to coal, yeah, which is a backward step. Because, <laughs> like, coal is like the dirtiest, filthiest sort of power source that you'd be using, which you don't really want to have to do unless you really, really need to. Whereas biomass is like a step up from that normally. I don't know. It, it feels like there could be different alternatives. But we do have some power slugs to uh, investigate, at least. Um, but for now, I'm going to do something very bad streaming-wise and go AFK. But uh, this is an idle game, so we can just do this. And uh, I'll be back with some sandwiches. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yep. This is uh, crafting ASMR now. And so that it also doesn't become eating ASMR, I will mute for a bit. A few minutes later. Worst part of the game, we have to craft everything manually. Yeah. It's also just how it's implemented. Because I was saying earlier, it, with Icarus, you do a lot of manual crafting. There isn't nearly as much in the way of automation anyway. But they do the kind of compromise between a better gameplay experience versus realism, essentially. Where workbenches will just by nature have automation to them so you can just start things work you could queue up a ton of stuff you can select how many things you want to make for a start and then you can queue up a bunch of things and walk away and the crafting bench will do it itself it doesn't require you to stand there and look at it the whole time so you can have multiple crafting benches all working on certain things they each take a certain amount of time to do things so you can set up a bunch of stuff and then go exploring and gathering and things. And yes, obviously it's immersion breaking technically if you care that much about that sort of thing. But it is such a much nicer quality of life experience. <laughs> and it just makes the gameplay a lot less tedious. Because otherwise this is basically an idle game. Which, you know, is kind of fine. I, could, I can see myself having a lot of inflated hours of this game. Because I'm not sure how much I will continue to do on stream. We'll see, I said that about Planet Craft and ended up streaming pretty much the whole thing. But uh, it's more a case of... I'll probably just have it running while doing other things. And just, yeah, every now and then come back. Because there's no food or drink or oxygen mechanics to have to worry about. So you're not managing that stuff. So I have the creatures set to passive as well. So it really is just to do things at your own pace. And the fact that the power grid becomes just so needy so quickly, and that just turns me off interacting with it at all, really, at this point, <laughs> means that uh, I'll just be doing a lot of stuff manually. Uh, we need a few more cables. 